Billionaire alumni and wealthy donors to some of the more prestigious schools in the country pulling back funds over the response to anti-Israel rallies on campus, including my next guest, David Magerman, who went to the University of Pennsylvania. Sir, good morning to you, David. Thank you for your time. Good morning. Um, before good morning. I get to what you said and what the university said, can you tell me what was said on campus that you said, whoa, 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 this, this is not cool, this is not right, this does not represent the school that I went to and have given a lot of money to? Well, I think it's been a gradual progression, um, a downward trend of what was being said on campus over the last few years. But most recently, there was a uh, festival called the Palestine Rights Festival, which was supposed to be a literature festival, but was the speakers that populated the, the festival were people with affiliations to Hamas, anti-Semites, uh, people who are, who are known to be antagonistic to Israel. Um, and there were... Um, no real efforts made by the administration to um, speak out against the the conference. I understand there's freedom of speech, um, but you know when things are things are going on that are affiliated with evil, um, I think you have to take a stand. And they were unwilling to call out the speakers that were invited and um, express disdain for what was going on there. Okay, so here's what you write: There was no action anyone at Penn can take to change this. Uh, you have shown me who you are. My only remaining hope is that all self-respecting Jews and all moral citizens of the world disassociate themselves from Penn. That's quite a statement. And now you're saying I'm not going to give another dime to that school. Yeah, but I, I think it's more than that. I think that we have to, you know, there's been this a history in supporting colleges that we look uh, retrospectively at the school we went to 30 or 40 years ago that we have an affinity for because they're alma mater. And we donate, once, we, once we've made um, whatever wealth we have, we donate to those schools years, decades later, um, presuming that, that our values are the same as they were when we were younger and the school's values are the same. And I think that we need to be looking more prospectively and looking at institutions that are currently re reflecting our values um, and consider donating not based on our historical affiliations, but based on what we want the world to be, and sending our children to schools that represent our values as well. Okay, so the president came out, Liz McGill. Do you know her, or do you know her well? I do not know her now. Okay, so she came out and said, alumni, you are important members of the Penn community. I hear their anger, pain, and frustration, and am taking action to make clear that I stand in Penn stands emphatically against the terrorist attacks by Hamas and Israel and against anti-Semitism. Why, why is that not good enough for you? Because, it's an, first of all, it's a negotiated statement. If that was what she really felt, she would have said that from the beginning. Um, but secondly, it's, that, that's not the point. The point is not to make a statement against an action um, that they saw that people have protested against. The point is to call it evil. Um, and what Hamas did on October 7th was undeniably evil. If uh, there were Nazi atrocities exposed in, in the 40s, uh, concentration camps were revealed, um, you wouldn't, you would expect um, any kind of moral institution to just stand up and call it out for evil. You wouldn't equivocate and say, you know, it's uh, you know, a shame what happened, it's, it's, it's horrible, but you know, let's feel bad for the, the, the poor Nazis um, who died in the war because we attacked them. Um, and I think that there's a, an equivalence here that we're not, um, the, the, the University of Pennsylvania is not willing to call out evil um, and uh, act against it yeah. um, in, in the name of um, remaining neutral. Yeah. David, thank you for your time. I just thought the window was real small for these schools to get it right. A lot of them didn't. And you need to draw the distinction between the Palestinian people and Hamas killers. And I think that's the point that you're trying to make again today. Uh, David, good luck to yes. you. All right. David Magerman with us today. Thank you, sir, for your time. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.